Well, ladies and gents, uh, just up near Hot Road, no fumbling where we normally go. Um, there's a little farm and it's a vending machine. So I was here with work the other day and I brought Brian along. But what do you reckon, Brian? Well, I'm a Ah, it's all vending machine as well. Right. So what dinner? You can get ice cream. That's the frozen stuff. It's fresh frozen though. And you just pick what you want on the screen. Pay by contactless card. There's the fresh meat. Sausages, burgers, sirloin steaks. And then you can also buy your bottles. You get the large, small. You put it in here. And then you choose your milk. You've got strawberry, chocolate, banana. It's great if you're up here while camping and you need some accessories. He's also got like honey and stuff. We have changes every day. He's always got stuff. He's got stuff in this freezer. He's also got like fresh raw milk and eggs. He is planning on making like a shop and doing bread and all that. But it's a. Uh, What's it called? It's called Bears Leap Dairy Farm. There you go, so you're up no fumbling way. Get yourselves along, bring the kids, the kids love it. Get along here, get your milk, the strawberry banana, the kids will love that, the milk is beautiful. You can get meats as well, all fresh from the farm. Like I say, each day it changes, he leaves his number here as well if you need to ring him. But it's amazing, look at that. There's a the fire starter. Nice little shop on the farm. Beautiful. You were sitting and drinking milk. So yeah, get up here. Bit different from the wild camping, but it's really good. What do you reckon, Brian? Chop me good. There's been multiple times where you've had to drive out there and get stuff when he's got stuff here. You can even there's got the plaque I can't see if you want to take it home and put it in your fridge. So yeah, give it a whirl. If you're up here in Northumberland, not far from here. Uh, Harwood Forest, ladies and gents. Speak to you all soon. Back up, back up in the forest. Uh, we've moved away from the last spot because uh, Brian got fucking swamped. Aye, just been to have a look and the, the, the river still flowing where the water went through. So we've moved a bit deeper in. We've just we got here and we've had a five minutes. We just walked the edge of the forest and got the seats out and the sun's bleat. What's it bleeding? Bleaching. Bleaching. The, the sun's bleaching. So we've just had a nice little uh, be on the veranda there. Five minutes before we. Uh, Come and support you guys. So yeah, got another camp to prep. So I'm gonna bring you along as much as we can. Probably get a little bit prepped and get with tops and hammocks and that up, and then we'll bring you back. Are you in charge of the fire today? No, not today, bro. Because that's the last time, wasn't it? Oh, nice. But then again, it's dry now, isn't it? That's kind of cheap, really, isn't it? Nah, it is, guys. If you kind of date in the wet, you shouldn't date the pile, should you? But yeah, got nice food today. Yeah, we'll talk about that later. And we've both got many chainsaws, haven't we, bro? Aye. We're gonna try them out. Get double the wood ready. But yeah, nice and dry. It's nice to be back out. I know a lot of us, uh, lot of you on YouTube have been struggling with the weather and it's been horrible, but look at it. Look, you know I'm all right. Aye, it's a nice day. So, it's a bit cold in the other day, though, isn't it? It's chilly. Cold in the forest, but as soon as you get out there, Lovely. glorious. But yeah, stay tuned and we'll bring us along. See you all soon. Right, so yeah, we are, ladies and gents. My hammock's all set up. Magic car is down. Got the food, the bag, water, oil all there, my table and my chairs. We've got uh, Brian right next to us. Because we've got an idea. We're not going to have a fire in the centre. But yeah, Brian's all set up, ready to go. We just took it nice and easy. It's, nice, it's a nice day. So what we've decided to do is take the fire away from our sleeping area. And we're going to build something. Yeah, we've took the rocks from B&B camp and some of the wood that were left. Some of the uh, windbreak there. So we're going to build a fire pit there. We'll probably do a time up there. Got Brian over there doing some wood prep for the mini chainsaw. So yeah, it's good to be back out. It's really good to be back out. Nice weather as well. No warm gear. Probably don't, probably don't even need the tops tonight, but it's always nice to have it just in case. So yeah, so what I'm going to do is uh, Brian's going to cut some wood up. Then I might time lapse it in me building a new fire pit. All that jazz. It's good to be back out. In a bright. Yeah. It's good to be back out, isn't it? Oh hi. You enjoying yourself? I'm being out of craft again, Ben. How, how's that? It's always the case. It's strange that every time I pick the camera up, you're graphing, Brian, isn't it? 
Well, I'm crossing my leg with the camera or not, you know what I mean? <laughs> Somebody's got a date, haven't they? Yeah, I suppose so. We'll bring you back on in a bit. Speak to you all soon. So yeah, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a new fire pit just here. With the weather being alright there, uh, me and Brian can just put the chairs here and this can be where we're cooking and we're a little beer section. Like I see we've got the we'll walk down out the woods a little bit, we've got a nice little veranda out there and you can see right across them which is perfect. We might go back down later and show you, but uh, we've got some pictures. But yeah, so I'm, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to time after you sorting this ground out. I've got the grill somewhere, it's hanging up over there. But yeah, so we'll move further in, nice dry ground, nice little spot it's really good and we've got some nice food on but I'll talk about the food later on once I get this done so yeah speak to you all in a bit So there you go, fire pit built. All we need to do now is uh, prep some more wood, which we'll do later. I see we've got some off with the last camp, which we've got there, which we'll use. But yeah, dug the ground, cleared it out, put some rocks down, bit of cook on that later. Lovely. Talking about cooking. Brian, what you got? I'm going to need burger and eggs, one. Burger and eggs, haven't you? Where do you get the burgers from? Basely dairy farm foods. Good, isn't it? Yeah, so as you would have seen at the fair beginning of the video, we popped into a little place. It's got like a vending machine, milk, meats, fresh meats that day. It also does frozen eggs, dog biscuits. You just need to give it a go, don't the brag? Ah, if you're up this way. Definitely. Especially if you run short on uh, food and that, and he is planning on doing more. So, you, local shop kind of stuff, bread, support oils. Support local farmer. Aye, uh, you got to support the local farmer. So, I've been in contact with him, I told him he's going on YouTube, so get up there, give it a try. Even if you're in the area, or you're camping up Rothbury, anywhere around your Cheviot, pop in, let them know that the happy campers, Ben, have, have sent you and you've seen his YouTube. So yeah, I'm going to make some burgers, I'm going to bring his back and I want a day of food review as normal. They're going to be good, Brian. Oh, I'll be cracking these burgers, get a proper beef one. Proper beef. beef. Nice shite. you get from Aldi's, you know? <laughs> Aye. Let's not uh, disregard Aldi, right? Aye. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. Brian's made with burger and egg. Bap. For uh, breakfast. Uh, for, Bap. For dinner. Bap, aye. Bap. Bloody hell. No oh, bosh. That's lovely, that. Everything bar the buns is there. Uh, local source so the burgers are from the farm that we told you about and the eggs are from a uh, local man that's got like chickens and that's we get we get eggs every week really good eggs brian's uh cooking his egg now but yeah that's really nice nice and fresh they're cooked lovely brian bring it back when brian's uh munching on his yeah, what do you think, Bri? Well, they're happy, aren't they? Oh, yeah. So, you want to get the burger? I can tell the difference in a proper egg, can't you? Proper egg. Proper beef. Mmm. Really good, Bri. Very tasty, aren't they? You just put them in the pan, haven't you, Bri? Oh. <laughs> I'm cooking, man. <laughs> Right, we're gonna, mint, Emily. we're gonna enjoy these. Gem fingers, bro. We're gonna enjoy these and then uh, do some more wood prep and bring his all back. Just gonna show you Ben prepping some wood, watch what he's doing. He's really mental over. Aye, I'm out. Just to the door. Oh, 
the lunatic. You know? Right Ben, I'm going to show you later first one. I'm going to show you once. And once only. Are you watching? I'm watching, bro. I've got my knife today, right? Because I've left me thing in the house. There you go, get the match right on. Can you grasp it? I've got it now, bro. Lesson learned. There you go, ladies and gents. Fire starters held up to his name and got the fire going. Uh, not me, like last time I had to pull my lighter out. Well done, bro. Be proper, babe. That's my job, son. Yeah, there he is. The man, the myth, and the legend. Happy with that, bro. Aye, it's, it's gone, isn't it? Hey, you're nice. embarrassed as hell, aren't you, bro? No, no, it was wet the last time, mate. It was true. <laughs> you think it is, to be fair. First go, look at that. Lovely fire. So we're just starting it off, really, just to just to get it built up, like what Brian says, and then obviously later on, that's when we can just we don't have to be in the dark trying to do it. So nice little fire. There's plenty of rubbish to burn, man, isn't there? Aye. Shit lying around. It's gonna be a good one, isn't Brian? Eh? You think so? It's got to be back out in it. All good, Ben. They're all good. But at least we're a bit dry this time. Aye, aye. Can work a round. Aye. We can work a round. What set up? Lovely. Yeah, I was just seeing a brine there. It's nice to get back out. We're chilling in front of the fire. Brian's done a solid job, doesn't he? Need to go for wood today, is it, Brian? No, oh, nah. Aye, he's definitely showed us up, but uh, it's been really good. Um, so, I'm going to talk about what we're going to be doing later on for tea. Uh, locally sourced again, uh, we've got to sell some fillet steaks, we've got some fresh prawns uncooked, so I need to cook them, asparagus, and we're going to have Brian's famous chips. chips. Oh, right. Aye. We kind of can't camp without them. I mean, if we forgot the tatties, we'd turn around and we'd go home. But yeah, another crack and one, ladies and gents, it's got to be out in there. Uh, I'd just like to thank everyone again for who uh, subscribed to the page. It's uh, it's climbing up. It's climbing up nicely. Uh, yeah, we're not not as big as other people like we keep saying, but we're getting there, aren't we? Mm -hmm. It's climbing, and we've got we're, we're speaking. A lot more people are speaking with. The community's great. The support's great. We're getting there. I mean, we'll be uh, number one on YouTube soon, bro. Do I reckon so. When we start bringing the kayaks back into play. Ah, not be long. Just been talking about the kayaks. In a. Uh, just some of the trips we had, we wish we had the cameras and we wish we'd done it, like, where we nearly fell out or we nearly shit with Salamo, Brian. Aye. But yeah, we plan on visiting a few places that we've been at the beginning of YouTube and doing better videos and stuff like that. But we've got the kit, we've got the camera there, we've got the camera here, we've got the light over there, so all good. Good enough, Brian. I mean, Spot on. I mean, you could uh, you can talk to that camera. And you can talk to that camera. And you can talk to that camera. And I'm gonna put that in the video, see how good my editing skills are. But yeah, I'm gonna sit around the fire, probably have a couple of beers on with Bry. Aye. Probably need to fucking uh, get on the corner shop, don't we? I'll try not to eat. Try not to. I'm gonna go into the hardwood shop. But uh, yeah, thanks everyone. Hope you've enjoyed the video. I'll bring us back soon when we start cooking. Oh, I've been doing cooking some nice tea. Aye, I'm gonna st stick to my name this time, and that's the cooking, the cook only. Hold on, I made the dinner. You made the dinner again, bro, it was really nice. I'm making the dare, making the tea and the breakfast. Oh, you're making the breakfast? Uh, I'm going to show you the little saw that we've been using as well later on, probably, before it gets dark. Crack a bit of kit. I mean, all the times we've been here, hand sawing and being knackered throughout the night, we ended up building a nice little spot. Yeah, we've uh, piles of wood on my way. Aye. What do you have? Aye. It was burnt wood, hasn't it? But yeah. Aye, I didn't buy a sake, I saw that. Flipping the shite. Aye, sake, aye. You're shite and you didn't reply to me emails to replace it or help out. Don't get them.
Right, so ladies and gents, I've got the lights on. I'm going to put this other one on. Hot oil there. And kick the chip out of that. So, Brian's got his chips. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to cook the. Um, is it the steak, Brian? Steak. Stir and turf. Stir and turf, isn't it? So, what I've got choked out by the smoke here. Yeah. So, I'm going to just hold your pan on there. That much, Timothy. It's very bad, that's what I'm Huh? Young viewers, not? No, there is young viewers. The smoke's uh, outstand. You get that pan on. What do you do? You need to invest in a solo sauce, son. What do you smoke sauce, the Smoke the fire, Tim. I'm scared to touch uh, anyone's steak, you know what I mean? Don't you wash your hands. Nah, no. Uh, we're living out of the way, but. Nice, you Hey, so there's the steaks. Brian, what you forgot? Salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. You wouldn't mind passing that oil, would you, Brian? It's fine, you guys are going to shake a little bit of chilli. Got the oil. Pan's on its way. A little bit of garlic. And it looks like a lot. But I'll tell you now, what you do is flip them over. Yeah, right. Thing. We're in the wild, by the way. By the way, it's, it's there's no uh, Mitchell and stars coming out here. Look there, spring oil. You never ever ever oil your steak, you never oil your pan, you oil your steak. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, never ever oil your pan, always oil your steak. Hey, right. that's so good. Cool. Right, so that's it. That's a steak ready. I'm actually tearing because even though it's dry, we're getting pumped in the smoke. So what I'm now is uh, asparagus. Take the lucky barn off, hide it on the fire. Put the lucky barn off, hide it on the fire. This is the best time on top there because what we're going to do is we're going to start cooking the steak. Then we're going to add the prawn, the asparagus, we're going to put the chips back on the heat. And it'll all come back together, it'll oh, be lovely. Right, yeah. it'll be lovely. Lovely, son. Um, the birds can eat them. The prawns are ready. What I do need, what I do need, is the butter. Butter, Bri. A knob of butter. A knob of butter. It gives you measurements as well, you know, if you're actually doing something out here and you, you need 50 grams to 100 grams, the packet gives you the measurements. See what? Stick that on there. Don't need that yet. What I'm gonna do? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Lovely. <laughs> oh, Tommy Cooper. <laughs> Tommy. <laughs> just like that. Yeah, just like that. Just that. <laughs> so that's the steak on. What I'm gonna do is gonna. It needs about six to seven minutes each side, and that is to medium rare. Yeah, uh, because the fillet steaks are quite fucking chunky. Once these start coming through, we'll take them off, we'll, we'll bang it out, the asparagus in, hide some butter in, we'll hide the prawns in, chilli and garlic on the asparagus and the prawns at the same time, lovely, really nice, it's a, it's a good meal, so the, the, I don't want to bring you through the full process of cooking a steak, you probably already know at home, unless you're shopping Aldi or Iceland, it's all done in the fucking air fryer now these days, but uh, yeah, 6 to 7 minutes each time, absolutely outstanding, I want to bring you back when I get this flower some prawns on the go. Speak to you all soon. Just like that. So what I'm doing now, ladies and gents, is uh, the prawns are in. So I've got them in butter, chilli and garlic. Lovely. And they actually don't take very long. They, they don't take very long at all. All I need to do is wait until they turn pink. And that's them done. But all we need to do is we need to marinate them all in the chilli and garlic. Honestly, these are beautiful, these. Fresh as the day they were caught. Put in a bag with some ice. Lovely. And what we'll do is we're just going to cook them off. We're going to take them out. And what we're going to do is we're going to hide the asparagus in the same sauce. And you're going to get that flavour, the chilli and the garlic. Obviously, add a little bit more, but these are beautiful, these. Honestly, Brian's chips, steak, prawns, 
asparagus. Unbelievable. Obviously, you can't hide the asparagus in now because of food contamination, but we're getting on well. But as soon as they're cooked, the asparagus are going to go in. It's going to be unbelievable. Surf and turf. Out of no tumbling. You can't beat it. You can't beat it, Brian, can you? Nah. Oh, you a job in town. You get a job in town. I mean, they are prawns. Lovely. Absolutely outstanding. So, what I'm going to do. And then prunes cut off a bit. I'm gonna bring it back when I put the asparagus in. It's awesome. There you go. Got the asparagus on. Got the prunes and the steak resting over there. Ryan's just reheating his pan. He's gonna quickly chuck the fair. <laughs> he did. He's uh, he's just reheating the pan for the chips. <laughs> I dropped a prune in the uh, mud. I'm actually he's gonna threatening him to me. I thought Brian would have went, yeah, fuck it, I'll, I'll try it. I need these, just wipe them little bits off. Beautiful. Really nice. So, got the prawns in the uh, steak resting. Brian's put his pan back on the heat to get the air uh, ready for the chips to heat them up. I've got the asparagus on the go, just above Brian's pan, so I need to be careful. I've just lost the asparagus. I could probably take that off the heat now. I'm just, I've just lost another spagger. So then I lost a finger. But uh, yeah, it hasn't. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide all that in. Hide it over. Keep that warm in the same pan. And then Brian's going to heat his chips up. Nice surf and turf there ladies and gents, I'm telling you what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it back when Brian's digging into his, it's going to be unreal. I need to go and find me knife for folk as well, but uh, yeah, he's all, all excited, speak to you all soon, I'll bring it back when Brian's giving me a review, go run out. No. There we go ladies and gents, oh look at that, bit of steak, prawns, asparagus and chips, Stand up then. unbelievable. Out believable, unbelievable. I've got mine sitting there. Obviously, just doing a little bit of video on. But yeah, we've kept it simple, but we've kept it nice. I mean, talk about this. I'm gonna bring Brian back on in a bit. I'm gonna, we're gonna sit and eat with food because if not, it's gonna get cold and I can't speak this too much. So I'll catch you all in a bit. Bye bye. There we go, ladies and gents. Food has been served. Sorry about the camera action. I've just hit a uh, hit a bit of rope, but uh, the fire starter has got his fire blazing again. I tell you what, where is he? He's over there. He's went to the toilet. Brian, the viewers need to see you. We'll let we'll let Brian have his way. Go back to the fire. Crack him at the fire. Lovely. Yeah. Oh yeah, he is. Yeah. So Brian. Yeah. Your food. Aye. What do you reckon? Well, it was bloody lovely. Not a bit of a surprise, anyway. <laughs> 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 what was the best part about it, Bri? The chips. The chips were good. The chips Aye, were really good. What happens when there's leftover chip oil? What happens when, le when you leave leftover chip oil, Bri? Magic. Watch this one. In your pan, maybe. There you go. Tricks of the trade. <sighs> Look at that fire. Brian's gonna clean his pan. He's gotta keep oil on that pan though, you can't just uh, wash that pan. It's gotta stay oiled. Well Brian, how were the prunes? They were lovely. They were lovely, weren't they? The steak. steak was made. We decided that the steak, because they were that thick, we, we could have left them in for a minute longer, but they were good though, weren't they? But they were good. Aye, the, the prunes were amazing. Put steak. The bloody chips bend them. The what chips that make you, the you, you can't beat the chips, Brian. And we need them for every meal. What about the asparagus, Brian? You seem to that seemed to uh, kind of doing well. Yeah, it was nice, wasn't it? It was lovely. Lovely. So, yeah, that's it. All fed, happy campers, living the dream. Oh, yeah, nice weather. Nice fire. Brian's just dealing with his bit cutlery and stuff now. And then, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, we're gonna bring his back when we're sitting down chilling. We're going to try and get you a 360 view of the camp. We need to get Brian to get his GoPro on. 
got a camera set up your lights we've got lights oh, it's me. great it doesn't matter how many people follow our like this is great being out yeah it doesn't matter if we're doing youtube or not we love it i'm sure all you do too so please uh like and subscribe if you do please have a look at that form that we mentioned earlier as on thank you to everyone that's followed us so far and subscribed we love it we've loved it for years before we even started doing this absolutely love it like it's it's with a re reset button you you press reset on a computer this is all reset we get out here we reset ourselves but yeah like and subscribe follow the form get yourself along the form and just continue following we hit 500 soon there's another prize so that's an incentive thank you all thank you all new people and thank you people that keep guiding me along the way appreciate it Gents, that's me and Bry fucking cozying up to the fire now. Getting to the end of the night, are we, Bry? Nature's been good, man. It's only what time is it? Uh, it's quite early, isn't it? Actually, well, it's only ten to nine, but uh, yeah. absolutely beautiful, beautiful fire. It's been absolutely cracking. It's been, you know, as we were just talking before, we don't care what the weather is, we'll still have a good time. But what a joy it's been to have a nice bit of weather, isn't it, Bry? Like, just oh, nice and dry. dry and warm is nice and dry nice warm. and warm i mean the fire's there mainly for cooking but it's been nice just to have it and go through a bit of dry wood it's nice of course always dead fallen trees tried out the new saws i will i i, I know i promised you before but i will bring it in the morning i'll, I'll show you the little uh, little chain so like brian says before don't for, go for the what's the name sega sega don't go for sega I will name and brand mine. It, it, it's been cracking. It's been up. I on the brand mine, little one. Less than what happened. Last, last trip and Cr and more. Uh, cracking little. Mine's broke now. Cracking little saw, but Ozzy, it's good to bring us along. Well, I just talked before. Even we didn't do the YouTube, we'd still be doing this. You know what I mean? It's it's, it's fucking great in a brand. Ah, it's really good. Get out, getting done this. Hammock camping, tent camping, on a campsite with your family. Just get out. Just get out. Get it done. Even if it's a little walk along the beach, just the, the freedom, just get out, stop fucking sitting in the house, stop doing this. We'll answer a lot of questions, Brian's isn't that, we do we'll answer a lot of questions. People like, oh, where do you go, what do you do? It doesn't matter if you're just going out on a Sunday for a little half an hour walk, just get out and do it, it's good for you, man. But at the end of the day, what we're going to do now is going to like build this way out, we're going to have a few more... Uh, Heineck Artois and Stella Artois, but we're loving it all, Bri. I love every minute of it. I love every minute of it. How was your food, Bri? Oh, making a chip for me, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Prawns, chips, and steak, and asparagus was class. But yeah, going to probably bring you on the moon now. Eh? We're going to concentrate and get this fire built up. We're just going to sit down and play some music, which you can't do on YouTube, which we've all realised. But thank you very much, everyone. Thank you for coming along on the journey. Thumbs up, subscribe. <laughs> Thumbs up, subscribe. Hit the bell button. Do what you need to do. Couple of Jolly Lads out in Northumberland. We have Get got them. we have got things planned, so just stay tuned. Bear with us. Love you all. <laughs> well, there's wool fire starter. Typically around the fire. Woman is here. Woman is set up. <coughs> had a good camp, Bry. Eh? Had a good camp. Ah, it's been good, hasn't it? It's been good. It's been... Especially with the weather, hasn't it? Aye. Need weather. Nice morning fire before we get ourselves sorted. Got a... Got breakfast on. Got breakfast started. Starting off with a nice, uh... Cup of chow. Nice cup of chow. But yeah, what we're going to do is, uh... Brian's gonna have you sell it uh, brew. I've just had a, a bit of water. Sit around the fire and then I'm gonna start cooking with breakfast up and then uh, as per usual we're gonna start uh, taking down camp, clean up the area, make sure it looks like we've never been here as best as we can. And then it's the long dreaded walk back to the car, isn't it, Bri? Uh -huh. <laughs> but yeah, sweet as all soon.
Here's a Woodbury. Don't forget to like and subscribe. So there we go. One pot wonder. I've got his bacon, got his burger and his black pudding all in the same pan. I'll get that pudding up and we'll put a nice uh, egg on top there, Bri. Nice fried egg. Just trying to... Uh, I think I was a bit... Took a bit more than I can chew on trying to do a one pot wonder, Bri. But yeah, lovely breakfast. Brian's gonna enjoy this, I'm telling you now. Gonna beat, gonna beat yours, Brian. It's gonna beat yours. The pan cooks this one. Yeah, true, man. <laughs> yeah. Food review coming up. Uh, hey, Brian, what you got there? Look at that. Whoa. Burger, bacon, black pudding, and egg. Hey, Brian, I'm gonna have to keep you on here. I'm gonna have to take a good fucking bite of that, son. Gotta get me chopped with that, man. <laughs> No, what's missing? Cheese. Salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Bit of sauce or something. I'm not going to let you live that doom, right? Fucking forget your salt and pepper, shaker. Right How's that for a breakfast, Bri? It's nice. It's lovely. Just missing a few things, innit, Bri? Salt and pepper. <laughs> but yeah, them burgers and stuff from that farm. We, we were talking about them there. Uh, before we start cooking, they're beautiful. We're going back this morning, so uh, I'm gonna get some. I'm gonna show you the milk, the milk uh, working, and Brian's gonna get some burgers. Outstanding. So stop interrupting us. I'm gonna cook my breakfast now, and uh, Brian's gonna enjoy his, and we'll bring you back soon. Cracking camp, buzzing to be back out. Well then, Benjamin, how was your breakfast, son? That was beautiful, that, Brian. I made a canny job, didn't I? You done a good one there. It's, it's almost like a. Um, Egg McMuffin from McDonald's but on the finer scale, right? Oh, it's much better than McDonald's, right, that. Them burgers, man, tell you. They're really good. I need to pop into that chop. We're going to go back on, right? I'm going back on. Right. Put it into the fire, look. Let's put a bit of food in the way there. Aye, it's been a good camp, Ben. Seen cracking. Good food, good company. Quite a few beers. Just chilling on with breakfast before we uh, slaps come. Yeah, I can tell. Chilly, Brian. Eh? Chilly. Chilly, aye, a little bit. Not bad, mate. Absolutely outstanding, man. Really good. Hey, see you later, folks. <laughs>
Kayak Oil Camp hopefully next. If not, it's just back up all when you'll have to join my game, but speak to you all soon. See ya.